Good day. Uh, my name is Raymond Xu, and it's my honor to represent our team to introduce the equi equipment technology in advanced manu manufacturing. <laughs> our work mainly focuses on developing equipment for semiconductor or electronics. We start from simulation to optimize the design for a configuration or a process. And then we will construct the key module or even the entire equipment system. We can also establish a pilot line for production validation using the equipment we develop. Sometimes intelligent diagnostic or analysis module will be incorporated to enhance our technology distinction. e tree simulators are mainly used for optimizing a process for symphony process, symphony deposition. Uh, for example, like uh, plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition, evaporator deposition, or epitaxy process. The simulators are normally coupling with gas flow thermal flow, physical or chemical model, so that our analysis accuracy can be up to 95%. With the simulator, the process development time can be reduced from, like, from one week to two hours. This simulator technology is also an R&D 100 winning technology in 2017. Uh, plasma has been widely used in thin film deposition for industry like flat panel display or semiconductor industry. E3 has developed high uh, density plasma source for different frequency plasma system. For example, like radio frequency, very high frequency or microwave frequency. This high density plasma allows us to increase production capacity with a, a low process temperature. temperature. It can also minimize our film damage resulting from ion bombardment during the plasma deposition. In addition, we may also incorporate some diagnostic or feedback control system to have stable process control. Uh, silicon carbide is a key material for next generation power component. However, silicon carbide has very high hardness and high chemical resistance. So that makes silicon carbide is a very difficult material to machining or polish. E3 has developed a process that combines ultrasonic grinding and also a plasma assisting polishing technology. We can improve the production efficiency for silicon carbide wafer production. This innovative process also reduced the process cost to approximately 30 to 50 percent. Um, nowadays, the electronic package trend goes toward high density and high frequency transmission. Therefore, High VR density with high aspect ratio become very important. Here we develop a copper electroplating technology for high aspect ratio VR. And this VR feeding technology is avoid free in aspect ratio larger than 20. 
also this uh, technology is a old weight process. Not only our plating process is a weight process, but also the seeding layer deposition is done in a weight process. The seeding layer is traditionally done by sputtering. But here we can use our specialized formula to make it a weight process. Therefore, the cost and process time can be significantly reduced compared to traditional via hole feeding process. Our, demonstra our demonstration on, for the high aspect ratio electroplating is done on a glass substrate as shown on the figure. The next technology I would like to introduce is a technology called laser-induced metallization technology. Laser-induced metallization technology is a unique process that we can form metal pattern directly on a three-dimensional structural surface. The procedure starts from spraying on a laser-inducible coating to any substrate, either flat or three-dimensional surface. Then it will follow by a laser scan to activate the material. When the material was activated, we, uh, we put the material into the electroless plating process. And the metal light can be formed directly on the laser-induced area. This laser-induced metallization process is suitable for a circuit pattern or antenna pattern on 3D sub substrate. So it will allow us to util utilize the irregular surface on a 3D object, object, which traditionally are not possible to use. Uh, the final technology I would like to introduce is the aerosol jet. An aerosol jet was developed to form precise fine line patterns through jet printing process. The pattern size can be as small as 20 micron. This is a mask-free technology. So it can be used for versatile material and patterns during designing stage. Therefore, a fast, arbitrary, and large area patterning can be achieved through this aerosol jet technology. This technology can be also applied in circuit repair process. And this would be uh, the introduction for our team's technology. Thank you.